Yes, people, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video where today we're going to preview the Juventus Maccabi Haifa game in the Champions League on Wednesday. Now, we're going to start with the home team being Juventus at the Allianz Stadium. Juventus have had a really, really poor start to the Champions League campaign. This is the first time ever that they lost both their first two matches against PSG and Benfica, scoring two goals and conceding four. Not very good. The last time these two teams actually played was in the Champions League group stage in the 2009-2010 campaign, where Juventus won the last match 1-0 against Maccabi Haifa, goal from the beast, Giorgio Chiellini, who obviously will not be here as he left the club in the summer. True legend. Juventus come off a big Serie A win at the weekend against Bologna, 3-0 win against them, goals from Kostic, Vlaovic and Milik, all three were beautiful goals and Juventus surprisingly played decent football. So Juventus are coming into this Champions League game with big confidence and this is a huge match. They have to win, no excuses. Speaking on the third goal scorer, Milik, who's in brilliant form this season, he has a slight muscle injury and he will not be playing against Maccabi Haifa. He attained that in the training session today, which is unfortunate for him, but we wish him a speedy recovery and hopefully he'll be back for the Milan match. Now, as reported by Tuto Sport, Allegri will actually change the formation to a 4-3-3. Shez need to play in goal, De Cilio, Danilo as the fullbacks, Bonucci and Brema as the two centre-halves, as usual. The midfield three of Rabiot, Paredes and also McKenney. And still no Miretti, bit disappointed with that. And a front three of Di Maria, Kostic and Vlaovic. Not a bad front three, slightly weakened midfield in my opinion. Fullbacks, not great, but we don't have much, much better options, to be honest. So that is the probable 11 that Juventus will be going into the game with. Now, looking at Maccabi Haifa, they also have two losses in this Champions League campaign. So they haven't started the Champions League group too well. But then again, everyone predicted them to finish fourth. So they are the underdogs. They've scored one goal, conceding five, but they did score that one goal against PSG, going 1-0 up against them. So we can't take them for granted. They are first in the Israeli Premier League with 15 points out of 18. So they've won five, lost one. So good stats for them in their own league. But realistically, they shouldn't stand a chance against Juventus. There's no excuses from a Juventus point of view. Now they have two star men that Juventus need to look out for. Pierrot and Azzili, who will probably be the strike partnership. Pierrot actually has scored five goals in the UCL qualifiers this season. So he's on fire when it comes to the European stage. And their other player, at Zilli with seven goals. So we need to be careful of him. He's usually a tricky winger, but he is going to play up top for this game. So the Maccabi Haifa team looks like Cohen in goal, Goldberg, Batvrashinka and Sundgren at the back, Hazika on one side, Kornad on the other, Fanny, Lavi and Cherry as the three holding midfielders, at Zilli and Pierrot up top. I'll be honest, boys. I know none of those players. So I probably mispronounced a lot of them. I know nothing about this team. There's no excuse. We have to win this game. I'm going for a big 2-0 win for Juventus. We're at home. I think we'll win. Goals from Di Maria and Vlaovic. That's my predictions. Make sure you comment your predictions. And if we lose this game, I genuinely believe we have 0% chance of getting out of this group. And I think if we lose this game, we might even finish fourth. So no excuses. We have to win tomorrow night. Forza Juve.